I'm searching the web for the latest gaming news. Searching GameZillaMedia.com, downloading headlines. Alexander, what about this monster story of yours? Download complete. Now, Nintendo went live last Thursday and uh, for 40 minutes talked about nothing but Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in their final direct before the game comes out this December 7th. What we learned, um, and I'll rattle off kind of a little bit of everything here. We got our final two playable characters that are going to be on the card at launch. Um, an Echo Fighter for Ryu, Ken, right? Just as we kind of expect. Boo. That's, a, that's a big thing for me. Stupid. And then we got... The heel wrestling Pokemon yeah. of Incineroar. Yeah, yeah, we're the horns for my man Incineroar. You know, real quickly, Ken. I mean, plays just like Ryu, like no big deal. Uh, Incineroar looks like something above and beyond what we've seen. It's a very close combat, um, almost like a, not really a combo based, but a grappler based uh, um, Smash fighter. So that's going to be really cool. Um, we saw about all the new amiibos. One of the big things they're doing away with is trophies in this in this iteration of the game. They're doing nothing but spirits, which spirits span all sorts of games, and it's in line with like the meta storytelling of the game. Um, but it's going to work as equipment, so that's kind of interesting because we haven't had really an equipment system aside from the Me Fighters up till this point, where you'll have a primary spirit and some support spirits, and you can level up your spirits, and they give you more attack or more defense and things like that. I'm not sure what that's going to do to, like, the... Uh, I'm sure that the competitive meta of the whole game will not have any equipment. But, you know, when you're just playing by yourself, I guess you can have equipment and whatnot. Um, they did a lot to um, to the online play, where now you get matched based on your preferred rule set. Um, you'll have a global ranking system. And uh, it'll prioritize distance over everything else. So Nintendo is trying to get ahead of the fact that they know that a lot of their online is garbage. So the number one thing they're looking for is distance between the two players. Up to the point where they actually said, like, stability of your internet's important. Consider buying a wired connector to your Switch, which came out in 2017 and doesn't have an Ethernet port on it. So um, I imagine next year's yeah, Switch yeah, will yeah. have a Ethernet port on it. Switch 2.0. Switch 2.0. Um, we got a bunch more about Elite Battles, which is going to be kind of like your super ranked. Um, a lot of stuff that we already kind of saw. And then for the, what was that What was that? Um, that stupid uh, game we just talked about, the Diablo, what's it called? Diablo what? Immortals. Immortal. For the Diablo's Im Diablo Immortals moment of this show, we saw the first, it's not even a DLC character. It is the first, what was DLC? Just free. If you buy the game before, I think, the end of it, January. It's sort of like a pre-order. It's an early adopter An bonus. early adopter bonus. You get none other than the Piranha Plant from Mario. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Best character in the game. Piranha, my man. Ha, ha. Chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. Indeed. We <laughs> saw his moveset. He's got feet for some reason. Um, he turns into PD Piranha when he goes like uh, when he gets a super and everything. It looks kind of zany. It's a super big curveball from uh, from the Smash Brothers team um, that I really didn't see coming. Um, we found out about the DLC. They're very upfront about the DLC. There's going to be five DLC packs for six bucks a piece. Each one will have a fighter, a stage, and um, like uh, a set of music tracks. Come at six bucks. They said it'll take place throughout the course of next year, but. You can buy them all up front in a fighter pass for twenty five bucks, so you'll save yourself five dollars if you buy them all in advance. That's like one for free. That's all. That's that's almost one for free. Yeah. If you're and if you're asking, yes, I already bought the game and the fighter pass, so you know <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm already in. Um, and then the very last thing we saw, which if you're watching us live on Twitch TV slash Games of the Media, we saw. Um, at the very end of the show, uh, Sakurai, who's the director of all the Smash Brothers and just an absolute workhorse. Um, he said, like, well, where do these spirits come from? What's the genesis of spirits? And we saw this trailer that I talked about in Team Talk, having watched a hundred times, where there's some big force, big uh, celestial-looking being that kind of reminds me of Taboo from um, Brawl and a bunch of master hands going for the characters. You see a lineup of almost all the good guys and some of the bad guys trying to fight off these celestial or these master hand rays of light that's just killing everybody but they all get killed or vaporized or something except for Kirby oh, Kirby 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 yeah yeah that so <laughs> so a, a, as what's been deemed online as the Sakurai bias 
uh, Kirby being the now uh, internet proclaimed strongest person in Nintendo or strongest fighter in the Smash Brothers universe because he was the only one that could survive this attack by this new bad guy who I think the name is Galeem. 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 G-A-L-E-E-M. Console. Galeem. Joy-Cons. <laughs> Joy-Con. Galeem. G-A-L-E-E-M. I got it this time. Wii U. Wii U. <laughs> So we see. So we got some sort of a bad guy. Uh, the adventure mode is unlike anything we've seen before, with a, an overworld map where you're going in between fights. Doesn't look like it's going to play like the subspace subspace emissary that we saw in Brawl. It's not a side-scrolling type adventure. It's just pretty much like you on an overworld map going between unlockables. Um, but yeah, I mean that's 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 what we know. Uh, they did spend some time on the help menu. They showed us the help menu and the music menu. Um, when that showed up at like the 32 minute mark, I almost shit myself. I'm like, come on, this is not this is not what we need to use this time for. Sakurai, get off the help menu. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's everything we know. We've got about what just over five weeks. So that means we got five more directs for Smash coming, right? Well, there is a rumor that we've got one on uh, on November 8th. Why we don't need wait for Smash? No, no, he did say this is the final Smash. Good direct. God, that thank you. But like we, I'm excited for this game, but dear Lord, just but, stop. But the rumor is that Metroid is going to be in this last direct. Last director of the year, they're going to highlight a little bit of Metroid. Tease, tease you a little bit. I'm very excited for that. So that's what Along we talking about. Don't tell him that he's not going to sleep until the eighth. Now I know, and that's going to be up all that night. That might not even be a real rumor. So yeah, we saw that. Not. We saw voice We're acting. We're 64 classic. We saw getting. voice acting. We saw all sorts of good stuff. Um, I'm very excited for this game. I, I like I said, I bought it right away. Spent 90 bones, bought it, downloaded it. It's ready to go. Just waiting till December 7th. Good. Everything looked good. I uh, the uh, Deadite was the one that kind of filled me in on the spirit concept, and that seems interesting. Uh, I think I think Deadite's point of it was like how how is it going to work, and and where will it be used versus not used. Um, but it, it is an interesting addition to the game that could add some unique like configurations, especially like yeah, it might not be on the pro circuit, but like from a competitive fighting scene, like. Uh, could it be something where it allows two, you know, Fox McClouds to to sit there and fight, and and uh, you know actually have a slight variance because of their build out? I'm excited, and also to to me, what it gives you is um, a little bit more drive to play having unlockables that like okay i was never that interested in unlocking the little trophy collections in other smash brothers games but you know knowing that these little spirits you're gonna be able to level them up attach them to your character and get different buffs uh to me that that gives me more drive to try and get a loadout i like for each character that i like playing so i am actually very excited about that aspect of it as a collectible doesn't it seem kind of stupid though that they went from these cool 3d rendered trophies to just these 2d like Essentially, like stickers and spirits. I never found the trophies that cool, so I didn't care. I just like you could get. And I, I don't know if it's every game. At least the last couple ones, you could go into your like your collection view, and it's just all the trophies on a on a table. Yeah, I remember that. And I like that because I like collecting a lot of things and then looking at all of them and going like, I have these things. That's me. I'm a collector guy. So my my thing is, I'm wondering if because, um, you know, we do have our charity stream. Um, the day after Smash Brothers comes out, you know, 36 hours after Smash Brothers becomes playable, we are going to be uh, for 12 hours playing the game, uh, try to raise money for charity. And I'm just wondering, am I going to be able to go through adventure mode and unlock all 70 characters? Well, all 62 characters that aren't available, you know, when you start up the game by that time. I think you will because you will be obsessed I still think you shouldn't because I like the thrill of unlocking characters on the stream. But you're also then, then I have to not play as much as I want. I'm definitely not going to be playing it with the idea that I'm going to unlock everything. Like, I can't stop until I unlock everything, but I am going to play the shit out of it the day that I get it. That's why I bought it. That's why I paid the extra money to get it digital. That's why I, you know, that's why I want it at midnight, not at 1230 when I get home from my local retailer. Makes sense. Or oh God. you'll still be able to play the game. I am not good at Smash at all and know very little about it. So I can come over within that time 
and you could teach me how to play the game so that way you're still playing, but you're not unlocking everything so we can still do it during the stream. Well, no, a, a lot of Smash Brothers um, unlockables in previous iterations, it'll be like, hey, once you play 50 matches, you want you unlock the next character. Once you play 100 matches, you unlock the next character. Oh, so there's okay. always two ways to unlock him. If you do this one specific thing, you unlock the character. Or when you p play a thousand verse matches, you unlock the character. So, we, which is to Deadite's point, how cool would that be if we're just playing all of a sudden, you know, Deadite just crushes Xander in a 1v1. Yeah, and then boy. it's like, by the way, a new challenger approaches. And it's Ken to avenge Xander's defeat. And he just crushes Deadite and then we don't <laughs> unlock Ken. Speaking of Xander, he Ooh. wrote he wrote in a question. It's like I did that segue intentionally. It's almost like it was intentional. Then you ruined it by pointing out that it was intentional. Yeah. <laughs> Xander wrote us a, an email this week in regards to some of the Smash Brothers news, and he says, uh, It's prediction time. We know we're getting five DLC fighters for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Who are they? And here are Xander's predictions. Fire Emblem Sword Guy. Fire Emblem Axe Guy. Fire Emblem Spear Ga Girl. Oh. Fire Emblem Sword Girl. Uh oh And a uh, Goku. <laughs> From Dragon Ball Z. Um, <laughs> write down your answer. Seal them in an envelope. Whoever gets the most right gets two cookies from Xander. Oh, then we don't have oh, to answer it. Hell. But we're going to answer it. We're not going to actually do the cookie bet. I prefer but I want the cookies. Are we just doing one each, or do I have to come up with five? You you mean that you can't just come up with five off the top of your head? Yeah. I, I I thought you were better than that. Let's do one. <laughs> well, I don't no, I want five. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. I can't even remember what my one is that I came up with a little bit ago. I'm real, I'm going to have to go in a minute because I had a really good one, and I blanked on it because I'm an idiot. Uh, I think one with the recent love that Nintendo Xbox have had together, they're going to bring in Master Chief to fight against uh, Snake, and uh, there you go. It's never going to happen, but uh, Master Chief from Halo coming to Smash Brothers. Well, Phil Spencer already said he's willing to play nice. I know. That's what I mean. Like it is. So you say it's never going to happen. I think Banjo Kazooie's super likely. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, rare, rare definitely is another good option. Jazzy. Owned by Microsoft. <sighs> I'm going to do the best I can to answer this, even though I feel like I'm going to be awful. But I actually think this might be be decent. I'm going to give you two. All right. And I'm going to say this only because they recently came out with these fighters in the game. I think we could potentially see Kelly and Mari. Oh, from Splatoon from 1. Splatoon from Splatoon 1. Splatoon 1. From Splatoon in general. Yeah. Interesting. So just like as an Echo Fighter or at... No, because they're not going to... They said they're not going to be any Echo Fighters. They're going to be built from the ground up. But I guess we've never actually seen them like be an right. inkling though. Or maybe... Oh, yeah, because like what they, they all... They sing. So maybe be like a... What's the, what's the Mortal Kombat character that's all voice based? Or it's like screaming based? Oh, uh, what's Siren? Siren. No. Uh, uh, Sidel? Sidel. No, no, no. Sindel. 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 Sidel's a wrestler. Yeah. Sidel, yeah. Sindel. Yeah. Shao Kahn's wife. Yeah, yeah. So super possible. Yeah. No, that's a good point. I think we're going to see, just because Sakurai in the direct called out specifically that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 characters weren't going to be in it because they had decided the rosters before Xenoblade Chronicles 2 went into production, I feel like that was a way of saying, like, hey, guys, just relax. We know. Like, we know that the game took off in the West much bigger than we expected. We know that you want a character from this game. They added in a me costume for Rex, which is the main character of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you know, for your me. So I don't think we're going to get Rex because, you know, they kind of just, you know, swept him under the rug. I think we'll get um, Pyra and Mithra, which are two of the, the main blades from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as um, rather as like echoes of each other and we get like a cool two for one or um, almost like a chic Zelda before they split, you know, and um, after Melee where you can kind of switch in between the two characters. All right. I have one that I think is going to happen and one that I want that will never happen. Uh, the one that I, I honestly think will be one of the five, uh, Dixie Kong. I really think we're going to get her because I don't think we've seen her as an assist or anything yet, have we? But we've also disproven that assist trophies mean you're screwed because there has true. been a couple characters that were assist that are even spirits in the game now yeah. that are already characters. So I think that throws that off the table. Okay. So, so again, I'm a huge Dixie Kong fan, so I, I want to see that happen. And here's the one that's not ever going to happen, but I've never heard anyone else say this. And... It, it makes me feel like I'm, a, I'm ahead of the curve on this one. It's never going to happen. But what about DuckTales Scrooge McDuck? If we're not going to get Shovel Knight, 
Let's get the pogo stick in Scrooge McDuck, you know, knocking uh, knocking crates at people and pogoing on them. It'd be great. Never going to happen because it's a Disney character, but it'd be great. I like that answer much better than your homeboy answer. I'll tell what? you that right now. The that's homeboy answer, that's the, that's, the best I, that's the best thing I've ever said on this show. The homeboy answer. Fact. Until you just said this, so you're moving up in the world. 